Hell yeah, what's up guys? It's Curse Pike. My friends call me Big C. Back in action today, I got a YouTube tip for you. I just got it the other day from George, actually, and here's the thing. Now, most people, I'll just be blunt here, most people would want their videos to be embedded into other websites, maybe into other tools. For example, the heartbeat tool here. You know, if I make a video and a bunch of heartbeat moments about, let's say, this guy's video about Madame Web, well, if somebody clicks on them, they get the they get the views, they get paid for it, right? And they get promoted for free. So in 99 out of 100 times, you want to do that because it's free promotion, free money, and it's just good for you. But occasionally, there's reasons why you would want to avoid that. One example would be is if you create tutorial videos and someone was taking your tutorials and embedding them on a website and then selling it as a course for money and you're not getting any of that. That's unethical. So I'm going to show you how to prevent all that stuff. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click on the first video, which is the one that I just created right here one day ago. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to edit the video. So there's multiple ways into this, but I'm just going to go click on edit video. And now when you edit video, you'll see a whole bunch of stuff here on the back end. Now let's go ahead and drop down here. You'll see here that there's the show more button underneath this section. There's a few things you can do. But let me show you the one I want to show you, and that's this one here. It's allow embedding. And if I hover over it, it says allow others to embed your video in their sites. So you can unclick that if you want. For example, if this was one of my tutorial videos, maybe I don't want people using it on their website and charging for it. But that is literally all there is to it. Similarly, you can also ask people not to allow remixing of shorts. So this is the second thing. It's right underneath it here. But you can have don't allow, allow only audio, or allow video and audio remixing. So those are two tips that uh, I just wanted to share with you. And also, while I have you here, maybe even more importantly, I just want to go back to heartbeat, h.ki, or hkey, as George likes to call it. And I just want to show you something. I'm going to click on studio, and then I'm going to go ahead and click on analytics. Now, when I do that, this is just dummy data. Don't get me wrong. So this isn't exactly like I'm getting paid three cents. But if you're a small YouTuber and you're looking at this and going, hey, that looks, you know, kind of like what YouTube used to look like. Well, that's the point. We at Heartbeat and, you know, in the teams here are creating an alternative for people to upload their moments to the Heartbeat tool and get paid for it. And there's no 1,000, 4,000 or 1K, 4K or 500, 4K or whatever the heck it is now. There's no rules there. If you make a penny, you're going to get paid a penny. And for those of you that are on the smaller YouTubers or you're new to YouTube, think about what that could mean to you. You know what? Instead of waiting who knows how long to get monetized by YouTube, if you do get monetized, you could start using Heartbeat and very shortly, within the next, who knows, maybe month or two, you're going to be making money with us and you won't have to go through all the nonsense. So I just wanted you guys to see this, that this is where we're at. This is what's getting built by the Heartbeat team and it is awesome. There you go, guys. So enjoy the tips. Keep keep checking back on Heartbeat. I got lots of videos coming up, and as everything comes out, I'm going to release new info. And the day, that the, the day that you guys can sign up and start making the money, I promise you I'll have a video bright and early at 6 in the morning. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Be back soon.